So when we look at eccentric mode within speed, we're looking at eccentric overload capabilities. And what a lot of people don't realize is that, again, we are limited to the load that we can use when we use dumbbells or cables by what we can bring it up, but we're also actually missing that we're actually could be 100, almost 150% stronger on the eccentric, the lowering phase of the weight work that you're using and, and, and applying to whatever the movement is. So by now, what we can actually do is speed allows us to provide that eccentric overload in a safe manner where we can create tremendous muscle gain in, from hypertrophy to strength specifically. But one of the most important things that people don't realize is that the eccentric training is the number one way to reduce the risk of injury. When we look at eccentric movements in the physical therapy settings, a lot of the times they're, they're, they're should, they should be applied more often. And what we, we don't see it as much, but you're starting to really see that change. In therapy work, the number one reason it takes so long for people to get back to their everyday life or if they're an athlete is simply the strength. So if they have surgery, then we have to turn around and look at how long it takes to recover, and then we have to start bringing in that strength protocol. The eccentric capabilities accelerate the ability to get back even faster.